everybody, my name is Olivia Gdaniec. I usually post content for actors, but today and the next four weeks, we're gonna switch things up a bit because in order to be our best selves on camera, we really need to focus on ourselves, our self-love, our self-care. So today's video is more of like a self-care for success. I don't know. See what I did there? So this is a four week experiment to create a morning ritual. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and let me know if you wanna see more content like this. What I wanna do is harness the habits of successful people. Megan is a self care queen, that's what she calls herself. So she's immersed in this world all the time. I thought, why don't we collaborate create a morning routine and have you guys follow along for the next four weeks. So whether or not you're an actor or a performer, this is gonna apply to anybody that just wants a healthy lifestyle, a healthy mind, and to really embrace your personal growth, your personal development. Let's just do it together. These videos are gonna be short, concise. I'm not pre-planning anything. So for once, let's just, let's just see what comes up as we do these experiments. Hey, hey, my name is Megan, AKA the self-care queen. I'm a self-care coach and over the next month, I'm going to be helping Olivia dig a little bit deeper into her self-care journey. Today is day one in a series of videos that I am going to be sharing so that Olivia can start to really embrace self-care on a daily basis. Olivia, are you ready? Here we go. We are going to start with the breath. Now this is something that can be used anytime, anywhere to get you feeling like you are slowing things down and getting a little bit more attuned. So what I'd love for you to do is to just go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in through your nose. You're gonna hold your breath at the top and now exhale out the mouth. Good, inhale again. Let's do it to a count of four. So one, two, three, four. Hold your breath at the very top. One, two, three, four. And now exhale, four, three, two, one. Awesome, this is four, four, four breathing and I want you to do this every single morning as soon as you wake up. And if there are times throughout the day where you're feeling like your emotions are getting the best of you, this is the breath that you are going to come back to. It's gonna reconnect you to yourself and remind you that you can really slow down and manage those big feelings. After doing that 444 breathing exercise, I noticed that A, my jaw is like super tense, so I need to relax that. I definitely have been holding a bit of tension there. So while I was breathing, I could just feel it like, you know, be stiff. So I think the more I do that, it will hopefully loosen up and just being aware of it. So I thought I'd just share some feelings that were coming up as I was doing this breathing exercise. For starters, I don't like holding my breath. I don't know if it's like past trauma, if I even want to use that word, but I just don't want to feel like I'm ever in, in lack, lack of anything in life, especially air, which is a weird thought to think. I manifest all the time, so I'm always, you know, I feel like I have an abundance mindset, but that was just something that came up for me, so I'm gonna journal on it. So when you're doing that exercise, feel what you're holding on to and where it is in your body. Trying to pinpoint those pain points is a step in the right direction. And that's my personal experience and that's my personal opinion. So let me know if there is an area in your body that's tensing up during this process. There are so many things that I wanna do in the morning for my morning routine. Would I incorporate this? It was very easy to do. Was, uh, you can stop and do it at any point of your day. Would I do it necessarily in the morning? You know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. If you do it, let me know. But I think this will be a specifically good exercise for when I'm feeling those emotions come up. And that's it for lesson one, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know how you feel in the comment box below and if you'll be joining us over the next four weeks. Talk to you soon. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below.